Hello everybody, Nightwing Viper here. Welcome back to Madden 20. And uh, we have made some changes to the team. Uh, first off, on offense, we just made DeAndre Hopkins our X-Factor. One of them for the offense. I thought he would be better since Juju Smith-Schuster is no longer the number one receiver. On the defense, we have Vaughn Miller. Some people say he... Isn't as good as Khalil Mack, but who cares? I like Vaughn Miller. We've also added Grady Jarrett to the defensive tackle. I knew I had to make an upgrade there eventually, and I finally did. But biggest add, I think, up to this point, is Zane Gonzalez. We've made a superstar in special teams, you know. Should be that clutch kicker, knock down those easy kicks. Should be easy with Zane Gonzalez now. And that could be big because, well... We have one more game in the regular season, or actually we need to win one more game in the regular season, then we're off to the playoffs. We have a perfect season going, and if we win this game, it will be our seventh win in a row, which means we go to the playoffs and we will have a bye week in the wild card round, which will make it easier to go to the Super Bowl and win it. Only three wins instead of four to become champions. But we will have our work cut out for us. This guy had a really good team. So if we're going to have a perfect regular season, we're going to have to earn it. As Deion Sanders takes this to the 28 to start us off. We start off with a handoff to Saquon Barkley, but only a gain of a couple. Second and eight. Here's Jones with time in the pocket, finding George Kettle near midfield. That's a first down. Next play, handoff to Barkley, runs right into, I believe, Aaron Donald. And that Aaron Donald was wrecking havoc, which you'll see later in the game. But Barkley on the right side, tackled by Pat Tillman, but gains a first down at the 35. Meanwhile, play action, Jones with time, wide open, DeAndre Hopkins. So, at the 15, first down, and there's the pass rush. This guy had really good pass rush. That was Aaron Donald in on the sack. Loss of four, but there Aaron Donald again coming through. And that's another sack loss of eight. Third down and 22. Looking for Hopkins, but that is batted up in the air and picked off by Deion Sanders. And Dion going to take this one out. Bit of a questionable play call there, but he gets a decent return to the 20. Wouldn't have mattered it had he taken a knee in the end zone anyway. As he gets gives the ball to Nick Chubb for a one-yard gain. But next play, George Kittle is wide open. And Kittle down the right sideline. Tackled by Minka Fitzpatrick at the 30. Less than a minute left in the first quarter. Vic nearly threw a pick there to Jason Seahorn. Very lucky that wasn't intercepted, but second and 10, Nick Chubb with a gain of about 11 there. That will gain a first down. Here's Vic, next play, that is intercepted. It is Derwin James on the pick, and we get the interception right back. Again, perfect season on the line here. Chance to get a bye week in the wild card round. Cannot beat that, as we find DeAndre Hopkins for a first down at the 40. Next play, Saquon Barkley only gaining a couple. Second down, Barkley up the middle. Not a whole lot, only a couple more. Third down, seven. Aaron Donald pressuring Daniel Jones again. Jones hit as he threw and picked off by Luke Keekley real easy as Nick Chubb trying to juke out defenders, but only a gain of a couple there. Both defenses not giving an inch so far as Nick Chubb trying to truck his way to a first down, but it's third down and six, Vic. That is intercepted, it's Tredavious White. And again, neither defense wanting to give an inch as White takes this to midfield. So first down for the Bills. Saquon Barkley not able to get a whole lot. In fact, he gets nothing, second and 10. Jones with time, tries the post route to Andre Reid and it's picked off yet again, this time by Mel Blunt. And that is Jones' third interception of the game as Nick Chubb finally gets a big hole up the left and gets inside the 15 for a first down with two minutes left before halftime. Vic with time nearly threw an interception there. He was looking for Torrey Holt, I believe. Second and 10. Here's Vic under pressure and he finally goes down. It's our 
S rank pass rusher Bruce Smith. Meanwhile, that play is made by Minka Fitzpatrick, or may maybe it was Derwin James, I don't know. But it forces this guy to take the field goal, and finally we have some points in this game. It is 3-0 with less than two minutes before halftime. And again, both defenses playing outstanding. Both defenses are hungry. As Daniel Jones nearly throws an interception there. That would have been his fourth, second and ten. Very lucky it wasn't picked. But Jones with time in the pocket this time finds Hopkins for about a six-yard gain, making it third and short, third and manageable. Jones finding Saquon up the flat. That's a first down at the 38. So Jones getting the time he needs. Again, comfy pocket. Finds Hopkins for about 12 there. First and 10 at midfield. Jones, time in the pocket again, but pass rush coming, and he scoots over to Lawrence Taylor. Big mistake, and that is a sack loss of 11. And again, Lawrence Taylor on the next play. The pass rush was just unbelievable on this guy's team. Third down and 30, less than 20 seconds. We run a 30-yard out route with Andre Reed, and we actually convert. First down at the 36. That is a big First down there as Smith Schuster up the right makes the catch down at the one. Six seconds though. Have time for one quick pass in the end zone. Daniel Jones led it too far for Hopkins though. So with only three seconds, we call Zane Gonzalez to tie the game at halftime. So 3-3 three, three at halftime. An unusual score, but when you have defenses like the way both of ours are playing. That can happen as I believe that's Christian McCaffrey trying to take the kick to about the 25. Gets the 21. Meanwhile, Nick Chubb is kill shotted by Jamal Adams. Only a gain of a couple blitz coming next play. Gets rid of it but could not hold on was Brandon Cooks. But Vic on third down. Drifts back. Triple coverage. That pass is dropped by Torrey Holt. Fourth down. We force this guy to punt. And we need a good return from Deion Sanders here. Again, perfect season on the line. Trip to the divisional round on the line. We would really like to skip the wild card if we can. And Deion gets a good return to midfield here. So Jones looking for Hopkins. Defended away by Deion Sanders, though. Great play on his part. His second down. We just hand it off to Barkley, who gains about 11 there. Pushes for the 35. First down. Three minutes left in the third. Lawrence Taylor again. The ball is out. Nearly picked up by Aaron Donald. I'm not sure how he didn't get that one, but we catch a break there. However, Lawrence Taylor coming in, getting the instant heat again. And then once again, it's third down and 30. We did convert this in the second quarter, but however, Aaron Donald is in the zone. And Donald and Taylor have a lot of sacks on Daniel Jones. Fourth and 41, definitely punting that. Not a good punt though, we don't punt it all that deep. Only get this guy at the 33. However, we send the heat and we finally get to Vic. Meanwhile, Vic looking for Chubb, but threw that a little bit too soon and a little over. As Vic calls the slants here, looking for, I believe, George Kettle, but that is defended away. Fourth and 14, we force him to punt again. And can we get another return from Deion Sanders? No, we cannot. He only gets the 25. A minute 23 left. It's starting to become obvious that whoever might commit the next turnover is probably going to lose this game as we are just struggling with the pass rush in general as Taylor coming again. Jones able to get rid of it, but... Smith-Schuster not able to hold on, but this time Jones has a clean pocket, finds Smith-Schuster on the in route, gets to the 45, has a first down, 30 seconds left in the third, here's Jones, clean pocket again, Jones looking for Kettle, what a catch there, one-handed, first down at the 40, 10 seconds left in the third, here's Barkley with the hole up the middle, gains about 13, has another first down, start of the fourth quarter, still 3-3, three, three. Pressure coming, but Jones gets rid of it to Hopkins. That's a first down inside the red zone. And let's see if Jones can find the end zone here. But Aaron Donald not going to make it easy as he's coming again. That's his fourth sack of the game, I believe. There's eight sacks total. 
and half of them belong to Taylor, half of them belong to Aaron Donald as Juju Smith-Schuster could not hold on to that one. Third down and 20. We will take the field goal if we need to, but we're going to try for the end zone here or the first down, but Hopkins could not hold on to that one. So we do call on Zane Gonzalez's number, and we do get the lead, first lead of the game for us with three minutes left in the fourth. And we are going to need our defense to step up again as Christian McCaffrey taking this to about the 22. So first and 10, here's Vic. That one nearly intercepted by Jamal Adams. Luckily it wasn't second and 10 though. Here's Vic, careful. Jamal Adams is in the zone, but Vic on the run overthrows open Brandon Cooks. However, third down and 10. Vic looking up the middle, he has Cooks, and this time Cooks makes the catch. First down near midfield, two and a half minutes left in the fourth. Vic, this one's intercepted by Jamal Adams. Nothing but the end zone in front of him. And it looks like Jamal Adams has given us a free ride into the playoffs in the divisional round. And there you have the pause. I'm sure you guys know what's coming. And with this win, guys, we are 7-0, which means we have a trip to the playoffs next. We are skipping the wild card since it is a bye week for seven wins. And the next game will be the divisional round in the playoffs. So hope to see you guys there. Leave a like if you enjoyed, and I will see you guys later.